This is a tutorial on how to make a fancy Halloween feathered pin. Your supplies will be in a list, but you can also go on my blog and find out details. Most of this you can get a multitude of colors, and that way you can make more than one of these. You can have a lot of fun. So here's your list of items. As I said, you can go on my blog and get them. First things first, dismantle the pen. You can either choose to use the pliers, make sure the pen writes well before you use it. And you want to dismantle the ends and all you want to be left with is a base. I chose to use scissors this time. Um, but you can choose to use pliers to remove the ends. And there you have your base. Now I just dipped one side into the actual paint. And then I'm going to take a brush and pull that paint down and use that paint to finish painting it in and then I will take the scissors and hold the other end and finish painting the other end and then you can keep them in the scissors if the scissors have a nice spring to them and let it dry so that's going to take a while next we're going to use our stencil of our spider and our gold paint and it's best to use a small brush for this because a spider is really hard to do because of the thin legs and you can get a blotchy stencil and then you ruin your feather. So make sure you're very careful when you paint it in with a small brush and that's what it should look like. And we'll enhance the color later but next things next after that's dried you want to add your gold scrapbooking flourish to it. And you just kind of generally stick it on there, but you will need to hot glue it down. Next, add your scrapbooking bats, and they stick well. So if they don't, if the ones you get don't, just use your hot glue gun. It'll go in there, but generally place them on there. And you should start to see the pin, the big fe duck feather come together and have a real nice appearance to it. So I'm going to let that go for a minute and we're going to work on our skull. So you want to cut it in half with your Dremel and this is what it should look like. You can choose to add the bottom half of the skull or not. I chose not to. I liked it without the bottom half. Now go back and refill in your spider so that it really sticks out. And this is just a simple crafter's gold paint, but I'll do another video on supplies and what I would suggest for certain paints and brands and what to look for. Now you want to go in with your hot glue gun and hot glue that flourish down so that it doesn't keep sticking up and that way it stays on there. You don't have to glue every single inch of it down unless you choose to. I'm gluing the bits that keep wanting to stand up. And now we're going to start on our base, and it should be dry by now. And as you can see, it has some white spots, but go ahead and add your tip back. And it's okay if it has a couple of white spots, you're going to be covering up with gold lace. So fill the entire base with glue. And then start winding the gold lace around the base of the pin all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to need scissors to go in and snip the edges off and clean the edges up and this should give it a real nice antique look so that's what it should look like and I only added about three bats and I had to hot glue them on because they didn't really want to stick to the lace that well so hot glue your bats on as I said I only did about three I didn't want too much on the base And you'll find scrapbooking stickers are fun for craft projects, not just for scrapbooking. Um, I'm taking these little rhinestones and I'm gluing a gold one and a silver one above and below the spider. But it's always good to have an assortment of rhinestones. Um, if you see kits or anything, purchase them. The more colors, the more sizes you have, the more you have to work with on projects like this for fun. 
Next, we're going to do a backing for our skull so it's easier to glue onto the pen. And this is just some regular white foam paper. So go ahead and trace it out, cut it out, and then um, you're going to glue the edges around and it's going to concave a little bit. It's going to give you a curved end, which is good because you're gluing it onto the pen and, and a pen's round, so it, it works. So you glue that in and you're going to leave it and you're going to go back to your pen. Now I cut off all my excess on the pen and then I take the tips of the pliers and I squeeze in an indention so that the pen will nice and snugly fit around the inside of the pen base where the cartridge is. So go ahead and start pulling out all of your black feathers. I'll have to pull out more later to start gluing on the back. You can choose to purchase on eBay ostrich tips. That's a real fast way to do it. Um, you'd only need probably about two black tipped ostrich feathers to do this, but for cheaper purposes and not have to make special orders or anything, you can just use regular old feathers um, in a multi-pack or just a standard color pack like this and just glue them on and because the glue will take a little bit to dry, you can maneuver these around so that they're even and you don't have any too many holes showing through or anything like that. And they're really easy to do that with. So go ahead and finish filling in the back with the black feathers. And it just adds a nice extra flourish to it. And there's that. And next we want to mess with our wild bird feathers. And we're kind of wanting to gauge how much feather we need to take off so that we don't hide our gold flourish. So that's how you want to gauge it. You want to go in there and gauge it and then just pull off the excess. It's really easy. Then I just cut with pliers the excess stem off so that it's easier to glue on and it doesn't show up. You want to glue these on your base, not your duck feather, but your base. And this will be your front. And then what I do after this is hot glue on a dark, short feather so that you don't hide the feathers you just put in there. And I'm deciding to go ahead and put in the large duck feather into there and fit it around the cartridge. Now we're going to sponge paint the gold paint all on there. We're going to sponge paint the skull gold and fully cover it. Not too difficult. And then after that you're going to set it aside to dry. And we're going to go back and mess with our ribbon, our skeleton ribbon, and you're going to Tie it in a bow around your pen, and after that your skull should be dry, and you're going to apply black paint to the eye socket and the nose socket. Heavy coating. And then you're going to clean the brush off with as much paint, and so you have just a little bit of paint. And you want to start filling in the, the what would be a natural shadow area. For the skull and as you've done that the paint starts to wear thinner and when that happens start to blend out and dabble out and smooth out that color and it gives it a more rustic look and then when we're done with that we're going to add some rhinestones to the back so that the back looks just as nice as the front it's just not going to be as flourished I chose to add a large rhinestone, which you can use a smaller one. This is just one of the $15 kits I got from Walmart that was a huge package. It was great. I don't notice not every Walmart carries them. But if you can find them, get one. They are awesome. Go ahead and add your two other purple rhinestones. But yeah, always collect rhinestones. Rhinestones are great to add to anything. I've gotten mine from everywhere. 
Okay, now we want to glue on our skull and you want to add a heavy amount of glue to the skull, the back of the skull. And then you want to press it in and allow the glue to dry and there's the back of your skull and you're done. This is your Halloween fancy feathered pen. Not too bad, not too hard to make when you got your stencils and your stickers. Hope you enjoy.